Okay. Well, in this episode, we need to get items and power to and from the, the, the great underground place thing. And for that, I, I really... Can I be honest, guys? I really, really just want to use the, the Tesseracts. We already have a Tesseract. The whole system is based around Tesseracts. That's what I'm comfortable with. I would only have to build one more. But y'all have demanded it. Y'all have... It's been very obvious. You want to see this dimensional transceiver. I, I almost built one during the live stream. And if this is what you guys want, I'm going to give it to you. I, I'm all about entertaining the people. And so that's what we're going to do this episode. How do I get up there? There we go. Let's build this dimensional transceiver thing. Let's see. Dimensional. Obsidian we have. Eyes of Ender. Diamonds. All very basic stuff. Vibrant alloy is something that we're going to need quite a bit of. We need six... Uh, seven, eight of them, and it looks like you make them with, uh, energetic alloy and an ender pearl. Energetic alloy is just gold, redstone, and glowstone. Let's grab that. So we got gold, redstone. Oh, and I remember trying to build this last time. The problem we had was we didn't have any redstone. Well, now we do. Glowstone, we don't have a whole bunch of, although we are definitely pulling in the glowstone essence right now. So... That will probably not be a... Yeah, that's not going to be a big problem in the near future. Um, right. Fantastic. And I do already have an energetic infuser set up, which is not what we need. What we need is an alloy smelter, which I happen to have one of right here. And well, uh, can I put it down behind this thing? I don't see a reason why not, except for the fact that there's no power here, although that is a problem that we can fix relatively easily. There we go. Just get some hardened energy conduits. And... Up we go. That is so nice. I love the ability to like do those tall jumps. Throw that thing down along with our redstone, our gold. I'm sure it doesn't matter what order I put these in or where they go. Uh, uh, always active. Get to cooking. Oh, what is this? Redstone mode, never active. What does that do? And do we want it on always active? I don't really know what to set it to. I think we'll leave it at that. Furnace mode, alloys only. Yeah, we want to make sure that's checked. We had some weird bugs with that last time. So we need eight pieces of this stuff, I believe, is what I said. Where did it go? Oh, I guess it did. It did finish, but where did it... Did you guys... No. Oh. Well, there's one, but... I... Oh, I see. It already sucks up the pieces. I get you. All right, so we've got one of our... I already forgot how many of these I needed. So for our transceiver, we need... Eight of these. Okay, good. Yes. Eight of these and then some ender pearls, which we have a lot of, thanks to our monster killer. Yeah, we got tons of ender pearls. Although saying that, the monster killer doesn't seem to be Oh no, it's operating. Okay, I was over there earlier and it wasn't working, but it does look like it's definitely online now. So that's good. Boy, what I wouldn't give to have a time torch right now. This is taking forever. And I have one. I don't know where it went. Maybe it just put itself in the trash can when it broke, because I don't see it here anywhere. I guess it might have fallen through the world. Although, when they break, they do weird things. They don't actually collect up in your inventory. They just kind of float in the air. It's probably gonna... This is gonna be like a major plot point at some point in this series, isn't it? The missing time torch, like, falls into the, the void, and it causes, like, a rip in the space-time continuum, and everything here, like, slowly decays, and then, like, a really young Iroth shows up to battle, like, a really old Ralph. That would be epic! That's not going to happen, though. I mean, I don't know that, but I'm pretty sure that's not going to happen. Plus, I just talked about it, so if it was something that was planned, it, it just went out the window there. Um, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. All right, so that's the eighth one in there cooking up now, so we can take all this stuff out. And then as soon as these are done, we're going to put them back in there with some ender pearls. And hopefully get the item for which we see. Jeez, this is slow. Is there, like, a speed-up mo module we can put in this that... I mean, I have a time torch, but I feel like that's... I mean, first off, it makes everything... Well... Eh. Uh. It's all for the entertainment of the viewer. That's why I do it. What the... It's all for you guys. So how far away can I put this thing where it'll only affect that machine and not everything else around it? Like, if I set one up here... Of course you can't do that. Uh, I really don't want the whole like world to freak out again, so maybe I just shouldn't. Maybe that's the moral of the story. Maybe I just shouldn't do it. 
Or maybe I should just do it, but be extremely careful with it. Watch the network freak out. As soon as this thing takes effect, everything's gonna go crazy. Yep. Yep. There it goes. World's going nuts. I'm okay with it. Just as long as it speeds this process up, because this is taking forever. I can't help but notice that the network goes on and offline with this thing sped up, and that doesn't make me feel good. Like, I feel like that's a bad thing. But, on that same token, we're almost there. I mean, I can almost deal with it. Things don't go any faster through those. How, are these working any faster? It doesn't look like they are. I'm surprised they're still running, though. I thought I cut off supplies to them. Oh, it looks like that it might actually be the last run right there. Nope, I just saw it pick up something else, yeah. I mean, I wonder how, how far is the effects on this thing? I mean, how far away can I go before the effects stop having an effect? Okay, well, there we go. Look, we, we did what we came to do. Let's get that... Oh, it got sucked into the system. Aha. That's probably where we'll find the other one, too. Yeah, there's that first one as the network kind of settles back down. So cool. We'll have those. Let me know what you think about using them. We might use them sparingly in the future for moments like that when we're trying to infuse things that are taking a really long time. I think that that might be good for, uh, for, for the, just for viewers' sake. You guys just tell me what you think about that. So another thing we're going to need for this... Copper, gold, no, no, nothing unusual there. In fact, we might as well go ahead and make those. Do we need two of them, I believe? Yeah, two of those. Four of them, actually. So we got the four of those now. And actually, we're going to need more than that. We're going to need... So there's one of these, which requires two of these. So two, four... So we're going to need eight of them. Oh my, this is getting... I think I'm doing my math right on this. I might not be. Uh, <laughs> math was never my strong suit. Electrical steel is just coal, iron, and silicone. So let's put all of these items up, and we will get our um, lots of glowstone too. We'll go ahead and get our coal, our iron, and our steel. Our no, not our steel. Our coal, our iron, and our was it silicone? I believe it was not. What do I not have silicone? Hmm. Appears as though I don't have any silicone. It wants me to make a really weird kind of silicone too, like an Ender IO silicone. But I'm wondering if that's actually really necessary, or if perhaps I can't just use standard silicone. Let's find out. So let's take that over here. We'll throw it in the smelter along with our coal and our steel, and we'll see if that works. Oh, it does appear too. Fantastic. So, let's see. I've got a ton of it in here right now cooking up. So, we should have some silicone. How much of this do I need? Wasn't paying attention. I think I needed... S so, I guess we're going to need 12 of these? Yeah, 12 of them. Um, hmm. Almost. There we go. Plus, I already have one in there, so I don't actually need... Uh, all of these, we'll put one aside. We don't want to make more than we actually need. And you know what, guys? I'm starting to feel it. I'm starting to think that maybe, maybe this is one of those instances where we, uh, we break out one of these time torches. <gasps> Let me know what you think about them. Oh, no. Oh, we're going hyper. All right, so we got the 12 of those. And we'll break that. It'll get sucked into the system. We'll give it a second to chill out. There we go. Everything's leveled back out. It's a little bit crazy during that period. So I just remembered I will have to build two of these. Gosh dang it. I have to build two of these, which means I now have to go back and make more vibrant alloy. Let's just get bit one built. We'll build one, and we'll I'll go back and build a second one. But let's make sure I actually know what I'm doing this first time off. So we've got enough of those. And actually, while I'm in there, I might as well go ahead and just accept the fact that I have to build... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Just you know while I'm thinking about it. First off, let's build this sucker. So we got one, two, three, four of those. Throw them in there. Let's build. Okay, so we got that. Let's build this guy. Something is not right. I feel as this this has got to be correct though. So get that, 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 that. And then what goes in the center? Glowstone. Do we have glowstone? We should. Have enough glowstone for this. Okay. Really quickly just make... There we go. Set that dead center. And we should have enough for not one. Just one? I'm not actually paying attention to the recipe, guys. Right. Yes. One of those. And then... Skadoosh. 
Shkadoosh, dimensional transceiver. It's a thing. We have one. Let's plop it down and take a look at it. It's pretty cool. It knows that I'm the owner. We can set it up on a network. Let's break it. Oh, wow. They break really easy, too. Not sure if that's like a bonus. Let's head downstairs, though. And we will hook it up to here. And we want that set, this side set to orange. I'm not sure what side this is, though. Oof. Oh, it's the front, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Set that to orange, and we'll throw that on there. N no, we don't want that connection. I don't know if that's going to make a difference. Let's grab a hammer, though, real quick, and uh, discourage that sort of behavior. <laughs> Here we go. So we're going to set it to... Oh, okay, yeah, it's filling up with power. We can item mode, power mode, fluid mode, so it is exactly like a Tesseract. Except for, I'll be, it's a bit cheaper. Uh, it's different, but it's cheaper. We want it to be on a public network, I think is fine. A public channel, though, will 12. It's on 12. Perfect. And we want it to, in this case, we want it to move power, although we might change it later to do something different. But right now, we want power in the underground. That's what's going to help us the most. And now I'm going to go build a second one of these and expect to see like a, a sped up version of that with uh, me making really good use of the time torches. There we go. That, that was actually pretty quick once you know what you're doing. I did build um, more iron when I didn't need it apparently. I didn't even notice I already had some. Still have all these carpenter's blocks from between episodes I need to get rid of. Let's throw that stray and darium in there. But there we go. We've got our second dimensional transceiver. Now I need to note something that you guys need to pay attention to. As you remember, we built the chunk loader a couple episodes back. Or might have even been last episode. I can't remember now. But uh, the chunk loader is what's going to make this possible. You see, we can build these dimensional transceivers. And actually, I don't know. They might already have a, um, a chunk loader built into them, although I doubt that. The thing is, if they don't, I, I, again, I haven't done a whole lot of research on these. If they don't, when we leave this dimension, everything here is going to power down. We're not going to be able to actually transfer items between dimensions. If I'm not mistaken, the Tesseracts do load chunks. Oh, I could be wrong on that, though. But, in any case, no matter what, we do actually have a dedicated chunk loader right here. It'll keep this whole world up and running, even when we're gone. So that's what's going to make this possible. This teleporting of power between dimensions. Um, so let's go ahead and throw this guy down. I don't know, right here maybe? That would probably work, right? Or maybe we'll put it down outside. Uh, how are we doing out here anyway? No monsters still. I'm not going to complain. I don't really want monsters out here per se. I was thinking about doing a garden out here. Some flowers and stuff. Maybe a fountain. But right, so we've got this. Let's, let's just throw it down right here, I guess. We'll activate it. We'll put it on network 12. And um, we want it to receive power, and it's filling up on power. Look at that, 250,000 RF. Great, so we can now shut, set up, shut up? We can shut up some machines down here, and it would look gorgeous. And aside from that, I guess the only thing that was really left to do here, if you guys would, would bear with me, there's one thing that I think really needs to be done in this episode to kind of tie together this, this trio of episodes, and uh, that is to build some more glowstone glass. Which we should have plenty of by now. Yeah, we got a lot of glowstone. Good, 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 good. And uh, let's build as much of this as we can. We'll take it all with us. Almost a stack. Almost. We are sitting pretty with the amount of glowstone we are getting over here. I like this torch thing. This is... I, ugh, I feel like you guys aren't going to like it. I feel like the comments are going to be like, Look, Cub, you shouldn't use things like this. It's all for you guys. I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm kind of torn. It does seem... A bit cheaty, but at the same time, we are still manufacturing our goods out of thin air. We have yet to set up a quarry down here, although that might be happening very soon. Keep your eyes peeled. But, I mean, I, I, the Sky Factory, you're basically making everything out of nothing. Your ex nihilo um, actually means from nothing. So, I don't really, can you really call it cheating? I don't know if we really can, but there we go. We've completed that. Look at that, we finally have all the windows. I want to build the glass roof, the great glass roof. What? How did you even, you little, where did you come from? I made sure to check every ounce of this place and make sure mobs could not spawn anywhere. How, well, hold on. Ah, they could spawn on the roof. I mean, that won't be a problem once I actually put on the, the glowing roof. So I'm not gonna worry about that. Now, where did he come from? There's, there's nowhere he could have came from. 
There's another one. Oh. Oh, I'm starting to see it. Hi there. Um. I found a flaw in my design. And I'm not kidding. I spent a lot of time making sure that there was no blank spots on the walls here. But it looks like... No, there's not. Wait, what? The case of the disappearing blank spot. This is very peculiar to me. Maybe there's just no way to avoid having monsters spawn down here. Maybe we should just build a couple of golems to sort of patrol the area. Or maybe I can get the order to send me a couple of uh, golem defenders. Uh, and they can they can sort of patrol for me. Our security golems. Uh, and... Ugh, I don't know. But I guess, now that we have uh, a ton of glowstone being built, I'll go ahead and finish this roof uh, off camera. I don't want to put you guys through that. And that way we'll have a nice glowing roof. I can take down those torches down there. I love how you can just break this stuff. I don't know why you would ever want to use anything other than this glowing glass. This is incredible stuff. But, that said, um, I feel like I'm, I'm just dragging the episode out now. I'm talking when I should just go. And, and wish you guys a Merry Christmas. Again, these are Christmas specials. Don't ever forget it. And I'll see you guys next time. Uh, and hey, comment down below if there's something you want to see me add down here. Bye. They're not real. They're not real. When I chase cats down and kill them with swords, we've been through this, guys. It's not real. It's all a video game. It's all a video game. Okay? Nobody, nobody freak out. How are we doing with cobblestone?